This video is the second episode of my Pottery Journal series. If you haven't seen the first video of the series, I recommend checking it out first. The link will be in the description below. You can also find the link to my Pottery Journal playlist in the description as well. Tonight, I will show how I trim a foot on a piece. Ceramic artists use different techniques for trimming the foot on the pot. And I am just showing the way I tend to do it myself. First, you need to take your pottery creation. Once it has dried enough so that the surface is not tacky to the touch. And you must recenter it. It's also very important that you don't let your piece dry too much or it will become harder and more fragile to trim the foot. It is best to wait until the pot is at the leather hard stage, as we like to call it. I was using my fingertip to measure the distance between the base of my pot and my finger. When I feel I have adjusted the position as close as I can to being recentered, I take some fresh clay and roll a few small balls out of them. I take my time to wedge the wet clay lightly against the pot so that it remains adhered to the wheel and remains in place for trimming. Once I am finished planting the pot in place, I take time to make sure the piece is still centered. originally trying to take the piece off of the bat when I had first thrown it with the wire tool I had been using. And so now I need to take time to try to fix the base by hand carving it. I'm going to do my best to remedy this by hand trimming the base first.
goal with this is to carve enough clay away so that the base can be as even as possible. If I were to try to trim the foot at this stage with the uneven portion of it being there, there would be a risk that the process would botch itself. And there's a chance that, with the carving tool, it could become stuck in part of the wall of the clay. And it could have gone flying off the wheel if I was not too careful. When I feel satisfied that the base of my piece is as even as I can manage through hand carving, I begin to trim the pot while I spin the pottery wheel. This is probably one of the most satisfying stages of making a ceramic art piece for me. There's just something about watching chips of clay fly away from the form that makes part of the process of trimming so rewarding for me. Part of the process of trimming the foot is that you can shed weight away so that the piece overall becomes lighter and easier to hold. Also done to give a clean and polished look to the foot as well. decided to take my smaller trimming tool to cut a cleaner and more aligned edge to the bottom of the pot. I take time to lightly run the trimming tool over the outer edge to round it out and to smooth it. The 
This way, the edges won't be sharp to the touch when it's done and fired. In this way, it also will not scratch on furniture that it might be placed upon when it is finished. Starting from the very center, I carved the very inner portion of the foot, leaving the outer edge higher in its height. The inner part also provides an area to sign or to apply a stamp if you wanted to sign your piece that way. I decided at this point to carve the bottom of the piece flat again. This time concentrating on forming a more clean and elegant curve along the lower half of the piece. I also wanted to carve the tiny foot with more definition. Once more, I drum a more rounded and smooth surface along the edge to ensure that it won't be sharp to the touch in the end for the final product. I'm starting over to carving the inner portion of the foot now. leaving the far edge higher once again. I find it oddly relaxing when I sit here and I listen to the little ribbons of clay fall onto the metal surface of the potter's wheel. The foot 
is almost finished. Sometimes I like to pause and lightly run my fingertips along the surface while I am inspecting my work. When I am happy with the look and feel of the foot of my pot, I very carefully pry the wedged clay away from the base to set it free. And there you have it, a clay cup of I plan to attach a handle to the piece, which I will show you next time how I typically perform that step in order to make my mugs the way I do. I hope you enjoyed the second episode of my Pottery Journal series, and that you found this relaxing, or at least, a nice video to chill out to. Until next time, good night.